One of the quickest and easiest things you can do to get much better at Elden Ring or any Souls game, frankly, very quickly is to learn how to free aim. It takes projectiles and elevates them far beyond what they're capable of when they're locked on. Free aiming most of all gives you a far superior range, but it also allows you to hit moving targets better and to hide your animations, what you're doing, and it allows for some really cool stuff to happen sometimes. So getting right into it, free aiming has tank controls. The right stick controls the vertical trajectory, the up and down, and the left stick controls the X axis where you're aiming. So you literally face your character where he's going to throw the pot with the left stick. And you can see here, I have my character perpendicular to where the camera's facing. And you can see, I control how high I throw it with the right stick. But where it goes horizontally all depends on where I face my character with the left thumbstick. So now that we know how to do this, we can hit this crowd that is way out of lock-on range with a pot very easily. And as I'm sure you well know, it applies to spells and incantations as well. What's also very neat is you can hide what you're doing by facing away when you start the throw animation and make it harder to react when you turn around and actually free aim the throw. And finally, as we've already touched on, free aiming makes it much easier for you to lead a moving target. Especially when that movement is horizontal, you can see this pot is right on the money. Unfortunately, the phantom gets some iframes from that roll, but doesn't matter. We free aim a pot in front of where we know the host is going to be and catch him that way and the fight. So I really can't stress it enough. 